Hi guys, so today's video is going to be an updated video on how I get this slick down hairstyle. And this video is probably my most requested video. Now I would suggest if you have shorter hair to go check out my old video that I did when I had shorter hair. I'll link that below. But I'll just say that this hairstyle is not that easy at all. It is a lot of detangling and styling so you want to make sure that you wash and condition your hair before and add a leave-in conditioner for moisture but this is my favorite hairstyle so it is worth the pain so yeah i hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned hey guys so i'm starting off with freshly washed and conditioned hair and i'm just going in with my spray bottle just because this hairstyle is easier to do when your hair is soaking wet Then I'm going in with my comb and I'm just making sure my part is straight. Next, I'm using this Curly Kid um, hair lotion. This is actually a kid's product, but who cares? <laughs> I'm just saturating my hair with this and I'm doing it one side at a time. I don't really put my hair in sections just because it's like it takes more time. So I'm just putting a generous amount all over my head and massaging it in this will make it easier to detangle but I do suggest detangling in the shower when you're conditioning your hair but I am using a wide tooth comb a very wide tooth comb <laughs> because detangling as a natural girl this can be excruciating especially if you're tender-headed so I'm just making sure all of my hair is combed out and detangled Next, I'm going in with this shower brush. This brush was a dollar at Dollar Tree. Like you can find these brushes anywhere, but these work great for my hair. And I'm just going in and brushing and raking this through my hair just to make sure it's extra, extra detangled. And you'll see my curls start to pop. See, my curls are popping more because my hair is like really, really detangled. This will make it very easier to slick down your hair, and this is key to making your hair very flat. Next, I'm going in with my Eco Styler Gel. This is the one with olive oil, and I'm just slapping this on my hands, a generous, a very generous amount. <laughs> and I am smoothing this on my hair. Now, the lotion that I put makes this gel less intimidating. It doesn't make the gel as hard, so don't think your hair is going to feel like a rock. And when you moisturize your hair before this, it makes your hair very soft while you put the gel. But I'm just using a bristle brush to further smooth the hair. And I'm going back and forth with these two brushes until I get it to be very, very flat, like to my scalp. And I'm adding more gel to the sides. You'll know when you put enough gel because it'll stop like pop, it'll stop popping back up as easily. But if you have curly hair like me, it will want to pop back up and be annoying. So this is why we're working with two brushes instead of one. I'm going in again with this bristle brush just to make sure everything is smooth. And then after you do this a couple of times, it's going to be way easier to grab both sides and pull it to the back see i'm adding a little bit more gel for a little bit more security and i'm adding a little bit of gel to the back of my hair and brushing 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 after a while it'll get easier to have both sides of your hair in your hands I'm still going in with that brush, making sure everything is smooth. This takes a long time, guys. You can't rush this. You have to take your time and make sure it's really flat. But I'm taking this really big scrunchie, I guess. <laughs> this looks a little beat up because, of course, I use this all the time. And I am pulling this. I'm going to tie it over my hair about two times. I don't put this too tight because you do have gel in your hair and you don't want that part of your hair to break off once it's dry. So you don't want to tie it too tight. 
And then I'm going to fluff out my puff a little bit. And that's pretty much it. Now, I go in with a toothbrush just to fleek my edges. Girl, you know you your edges got to be on fleek. So, I don't even got to explain this part. If you guys want a more in-depth tutorial on how I sleek my edges, let me know. You can put a scarf over here if you want to. I don't really like to. But, yeah, this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you guys next time.